pretty sure there's a uh, shark hanging around there, right? A clubby has raced to the lifeguard tower. A large shark has been spotted swimming between the flags, alarmingly close to swimmers. Just between um, Neil McDonald's and Fourth Ramp. Somebody has seen it and, and come up to tell us that they'd seen it. It was in the surf race. Yeah. Kerbox races out to search, but lifeguards get dozens of false shark sightings every summer. As the man in charge of the beach, Hoppo faces a dilemma. Sound the shark alarm and run the risk of mass panic amongst thousands of swimmers, or risk a shark attack itself. Just gonna make sure. We've also got a bit of that. North now yeah. it's time to act. Yeah, we'll just make sure. Yeah, put my sand shore, put my lifeguards. I'm just gonna hit the alarm. Nothing clears the surf at Bondi faster than the shark alarm. In seconds, the beach switches from playground to pandemonium. It's all hands on deck as the volunteer lifesavers in red and yellow join with the lifeguards to clear swimmers from the surf. Hoppo's unsure about the shark sighting, but seeing is believing. Something out off that, yeah, thing, off that board. Yeah, well, pretty much where you are, you're right. There's something out near the shark net there, I think. Can't really pick it though. You could see a, a shadow and something in the break, and it sort of took off out the sea, but that's what I thought, just to be uh, on the safe side, we clear the water, get everyone out of the water. Lifeguards call in the yeah. police chopper. Well, the lifeguard, go ahead. Yeah, we definitely saw something in the, just off those orange cans in the break, but then it pretty much headed sort of back out after that. All right, stand by, we'll check it out. The chopper breaks normal height restrictions to help search. Despite the warnings, some surfers disregard the alarm at their own peril. But now the sighting's been confirmed firsthand by a Bondi clubby. You guys definitely saw it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it was just as the, uh, the race was starting, we were just out the back behind the boys. And uh, you could just see the two small fins. I think it was the dorsal fin and the other one. About 30 metres behind. It's just cruising around on the surface, so it looked like a hammerhead from what I could see. So. Sharks like this hammerhead are often spotted off Sydney beaches, but no one's been taken by a man eater at Bondi since 1929. Shark nets disrupt their swimming patterns, but are only a deterrent. If a shark really wants to visit Bondi, there's not much stopping it. With no further sightings, Hoppo decides to reopen the beach. One short burst signals it's safe to go back in the water. Just tell him, Ben, it's all clear. Over. Copy that, I will. That's what um, that's what the guy who saw it in the race and the, the boat both said. They thought they thought it was a hammerhead. Are they particularly nasty? They don't go out of their way. I don't think to bite you. But I suppose if they um, felt threatened and there was a group of people, I suppose they'd give you a bit of a nip. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> a bit of a nip. <laughs> Are you donating your toes? 